My name is Keith and Bible from God Sent Music Podcast. I'm the founder and president. But before we get started, if you're watching this on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, hit the like button, follow, subscribe, tell me what you think. We got a special guest with us today. I got my sister from another mother. <laughs> she go by the name of Felicia Bell. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm doing all right. I met her a few years ago on uh, social media, and we shared the same values. And we yes. just automatically became like brothers and sisters. So in the I, midst of the storm, you know, you gotta you you gotta find you know common common ground with folks and and hang on. <laughs> yes, and she was a big encourager for me to finish up school. But time got hard, and I felt like quitting. She wouldn't let me. So we um, instantly became brothers and sisters. So that's believe, thank you for coming today. Yeah, thank I mean thank you for having me. I just I remember when this was just a casual conversation, <laughs> just you know, just something in passing that you and I would use, you know, you know, used to discuss. And now I mean look at you now, brother. It it not only you you doing it, you're doing it big, and I'm I'm very proud of you. And and I'm very honored that you would think to have me. <laughs> hey, thank on, you. Uh, yeah, on your platform, so it's it's really an honor. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, some of y'all might remember her from the talking panel. Uh, she was very quiet, but she was a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, had I been able to hang on, because I had a bit of a uh, emergency. Um, I I I trust me, I would have made up for lost time. <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> We I had get to it. hop off, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get a cowboy uh, jersey behind us. We got to get rid of that Detroit line. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm representing <laughs> D-Town, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get a... Uh, you right, D-Town, Dallas. There we go. <laughs> nah. <laughs> the real D-Town, Detroit. <laughs> yeah. But... Uh, <laughs> music City, <laughs> yeah. Come on, you know, you know, you you know where it is, the music is. <laughs> but uh one thing I wanted to do with this episode, I want to do something a little bit different. I'm used to interviewing people from the gospel industry and be talking about projects. But I think being the crucial time, especially for the black community, uh earlier today I'm watching YouTube and I'm seeing a young lady named Sexy Reed is mm. pregnant and mm. just the conversation that was coming out of her mouth and i'm saying to myself you have parents out here who is actually letting their kids listen to a sexy read <laughs> you have teachers actually uh singing the songs in school to their children like you know and and i and i get it you know trying to stay relevant or you know, yeah. trying to be a part of the culture to capture the children's attention and keep their attention. But come on, we've we've got to be more creative and uh, of solid mind and common sense than that. But I didn't know I, I that latest news of, of her being pregnant. Yes. I heard. Yeah. Until and, now. And the reason I bring her up 
is because this is what our kids are listening to. And yeah. this episode is going to basically be about this. You got to be mindful of what you play into your soul. I know we think it's just music and it's just something we listen to in the past. And, but I don't think people realize that there was a job in heaven was a worship leader. And the Bible yeah. spoke about how when he sung, he had pipes come out his uh, voice. And he had a wonderful voice. And he was in charge yeah. of music in heaven. And being a time now where we just letting anything just play in our soul. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that, um, you know, when I was on the other side of things, <laughs> <laughs> uh, when, when I was on the, uh, um, the broad path, um, I just remember, you know, going to the clubs, hitting the clubs. And I just remember like certain dances um, were out. And when I was, you know, sober or just not in that atmosphere, it was certain dances that I just couldn't get for the life of me or just couldn't get right. But honey, let me, well, let me just tell you when I would <laughs> go into the club and, um, you know, with drinks and that, that, and, and it's a spirit. People have to understand, like, you know, something comes on you. And I just remember just being able to do any dance, um, it, and it was just, and it was crazy. And once you would leave that atmosphere, I just remember, you know, many times, you know, my girl's like, oh, I seen you out there. You was killing it. Or I would say that to them. <laughs> He's like, you see me doing the dance. You see me doing mm -hmm. such and such. And, um, uh, and, um, and, and now that, you know, I know what I know that, that there, there is a spirit that comes upon you, yeah. um, just like, you know, how the Holy spirit can come upon you. And it's just the same with the darkness. Um, you, we have to guard our gates, our hearts, our, our ears, um, the gates that, uh, that we use in order to be influenced. And that's what's happening. And, and the enemy knows that. The enemy knows that. And that is so true because you have, my daughter is grown, but you mm -hmm. have kids that still growing up in the generation, right? Yeah. And it's a, it, it's scary. Yeah, and What it we is. let our kids listen to and partake on TV. And uh, I was reading a study one time from a doctor. He was saying the best way to get something in somebody's head is your music. We yeah. think it's just music, but Man, this is what our kids is listening to at night. This will be taking it to our spirit. And anybody that know me know I'm a lover of gospel music. Yeah. So we loving gospel music. Ah, man, it, 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 it's, it's totally different from what, you like you say, when you're out in the atmosphere. And explain the difference between, uh, I want you to talk about how, what we take into our soul and what we take into our ears. And how it play your effect on us. Well, like um, without having to get you know too deep, like um, it 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 really is a uh, is it's really really a deep thing. Um, I know uh, even um, our boy Tupac. Remember, he did the very infamous you know interview, and I think it, he 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 put it as a part of his song, talking about you know just, you know just stop bobbing your head, listen to the words, listen to what they're saying. So um, I say that to say this: uh, um, a lot of it, uh, how the the kids are being swept in, is through the cadence, through the uh, through the beats, um, and 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 it's. I, I would, it's basically like a trance. It's a, it's a cadence. It's a rhythm that gets people mesmerized and trapped into. And so then when, so then now let's go into the lyrics, let's go into the actual words that are being rapped or sung over the beats. Um, um, and then, so, so now those are very uh, sinister, very evil, and you're just speaking death or, you know, you're bringing curses by calling yourself yes. a B and this and that, and um, just very, just negative things. And, 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 but by the time you're really caught into this trance of the beat, you're, you're singing the words, but you're really not really focused on the words. Cause by this time you are in this trance and then you, so you're, you're bringing darkness, you're bringing death. 
uh, on your life. And when I say death, I'm not um, talking about always talking about physical death. And but yeah. we do know a lot of this music, like the gangster rap and all of this, unfortunately, do lead a lot of our young, particularly black men, uh, to death. Because I mean, there has been studies that has actually been done where, uh, yeah. you know, uh, young men have gone out and committed these crimes. And guess what they were listening to to exactly. get themselves, apt, uh, you know, amped up to commit these crimes were certain types of music and lyrics and, and, and lyrics. So uh, that's how uh, it impacts you. And then as, as far as the women goes the same thing with the with the um with the, the with the beats with the music with the yes. um with the cardi b's and remember it started out first uh keeping you and know, i was talking about <laughs> I, I think it yeah. was you and i it first started out with the trinas remember yes. Yes. uh <laughs> with the <laughs> trinas and then it just and 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 she was very uh very explicit yeah and the little and king yeah, and the little Kims. Yeah. And guess what? It's got, and then it's like when you thought it couldn't get any more explicit mm. or overt, guess what? Here come the the uh the Cardi B's yeah. and the Meg the Stallions. And of course, I'm leaving out a lot, but I'm talking about the yeah. big names that we all know and recognize. And when you thought it couldn't get any worse with the Trinas and the uh Kim, little Kims, it did. And then now you got the um the, the, what is the the, the red? The, the sexy red. <laughs> and, sexy red. And and what and what's uh the other homegirl named Suki Hana? Suki, yay. Oh my goodness. I watched yeah, give you a lean back on that <laughs> on both of those young women. And it just it gets worse. So you know you and but listen, but I mean, even though the words is just it's it's horrible, but the but the but the music, the 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 beats are dope. Let's let's yeah. let's keep it real. Yeah. Yeah. And just all the same, and is getting these young women caught up into the beat in the trance, and and then and then they they're not really listening to the words, and then they're doing these overt dances, these crazy yes. dances, and um, it's it it's just uh, it's really 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 hard to watch and i do want to just add these this and and i don't know if you want to touch on it later but uh what is a fact because they have a lot of thank god literally thank god a lot of uh whistleblowers or a lot of uh yeah. insiders within the industry that are blowing the whistles that are coming out and telling this is what's happening yeah. and a lot of these songs are being demonically prayed over the masters yes are being demonically there is literal yes. little rooms tucked away in a back in the back of a lot of these um um these recording rooms or not even recording rooms i'm talking about the uh the label um buildings where they you know where, yeah. where the labels are and they have these rooms where the masters of a lot of these songs are like literally being demonically prayed yeah. over and it's all about the cadence. I found out that a trap music, uh, yeah. the the reason why so much terrible things is coming out of the trap, uh, out of that that trill music or trap music, trill is music. because it's literally a, a, a chanting. It's yeah. a chant. Yeah, that's why it's it's it's, it's a chant. Yeah, yeah, and, um, and, it, and it's demonically prayed over as well. Yeah, and I was talking to some guys who work in the industry. And you, he's like, you be amazed. He got him snow cocaine for hours, smoke dope for hours. They they so in so beyond sober. Take some of them two three days to come down from their mm -hmm. high, yeah. and they in the studio just putting out songs. And me, we think it's cool, but you don't know, man. He haven't been high for four days when he. When he made this when, song. And Keith, when you're high like that and I, I can speak from a place of no like then then guess what you have literally just become a, a, a vessel yes for yes. for certain type of activity that is that is not godly that is not righteous to come in and to use I mean there's many testimonies of of of, of rappers that you know give testimonies of being in the studio and and they're hot, like you said, they you know they've been getting high and drunk for hours because that was a part of the process 
process of putting out bangers yeah. and they give their account how like literally something come over them and they're spitting certain lyrics and how it come out and they were just like whoa that you know that wasn't me <laughs> like I don't know what that <laughs> was but it was you know but they were like it was dope it was hot and yeah like this stuff is real this, yeah. it's real real yeah and I'm about to go somewhere and you know and some people might not like it but I I I culture I look at BT. I remember a time with BT was the man. You had Teen Summit. You had college going against each other. Education. It was just they were literally study. making kids smarter and inspiring, yeah. challenging for for young people to do better and to aspire to be better. Yes, yes. But now I look at BT, and I'm like, man, how far have we fallen? From the nineties and two thousand, and I, I I I blame some of this on our community because we yeah. allow it, we yeah. allow this, we 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 put them up and BT boy, st- I hate the BT boy, I, I most, hate the, BT. What, the most recent one with the uh the yeah the, I what, had, is that, what is that what is that girl name and I and I'm so glad I keep forgetting her name even though it doesn't matter. <laughs> How simple it is. What is it? What red? Oh, sexy red. Sexy. I mean, you look sexy red. Let me just write because uh, she's everywhere. She's yeah. everywhere. Yeah. But the, uh, yeah, but the most recent BET awards. I mean, I honestly, and this is the honest to goodness truth, because it was everywhere. Even even they, they say even within the ghetto culture was saying, look, you have, and I did, and, and I got a kick out of this. Because, because you know, stuff was popping up on my YouTube feed, even if I didn't, you know, but stuff yeah, was popping yeah. up. And I and, and ghetto people like, look, now I'm ghetto. Now, if I'm saying this was too ghetto and it went too far, then that's it. <laughs> but why do you think I? Why do you think I? Why do you think I culture put that out there like that? Did you think it's part of the industry? To have, I think it's part to have the show. I mean, because we at a point now, man, we black ladies and the image that are being portrayed on TV, I just think it's not good. I miss the days of uh, Different World, uh, uh, the, the uh, Cosby show. I love the Cosby's. <laughs> yeah. And now the Family the Matters. TV. Family Matters. Yeah. The <laughs> wholesome single mother. Black mother who took care of her family, and I just don't think it's nothing on TV right now that betrayed the wholesome black family. It's not. Um. Well, <clears throat> what's happened is we have gatekeepers. We have uh certain figureheads that have um literally sold their soul, and they yeah. have sold out. Uh, the black community and they have collected their 30 pieces of silver. And this is in every sector of our society where you're talking about academia, uh, politics, um, sports. Yeah. Um, I mean, just in every, you know, uh, demographics of our society. Um, and I'm specifically talking about uh, um the black community of, you know, Mm -hmm. that is the reason why we have fallen from grace, uh, at at such a, um, it's such a record. It's such a, uh, speed that I think is just, uh, remarkable, uh, to be quite honest with you. Um, and, and again, we, we have certain folks and, and, and again, I want to be respectful of your platforms, but you know, I, I, I don't, I don't mind naming names, but, <laughs> but I think we all know there are just certain figureheads, um, in every demographics of our society that share the same skin color and they have literally sold out and yeah. they have been paid, um, and they are are the ones who are being propped up yeah. to uh, to um, push this very uh, poisonous, very deadly um, venom, which is ideology, talking points. Um, just they're just indoctrinating the masses, and 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 that is one of my um, 
takes on why uh, we as a people, as a culture, has uh, we have fallen from grace. Uh, in such a, in such a way that for me it is just it is just truly just mind blowing. Yeah, but if you but really look at true, if you really look at TV right now, I made the point if I had little kids, I don't know if I want them watching our shows on TV. Well, look at Disney. Yes. Look 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 what Disney. Yes, yes, has. yes. I mean. I mean, so and and that's the thing because now that they have um the cartoons, the 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 innocent uh programming, uh TV shows and cartoons have now been completely infiltrated with perversion. Yes. So it's like I mean, you you just I mean you have to be so vigilant and so on, you cannot be caught slipping. You have to be on your post. You have to be diligent. You have to be radical. You do. It's just, it, yeah. it is, I mean, this demonic, high level demonic ideology and culture and this godless antichrist agenda has literally infiltrated every aspect of life. To True. And I'm to share this story. You know, I grew up in a uh old fashioned Pentecostal home. So mm -hmm. I remember when the CD player first came out. You remember you had to walk me. <laughs> but before oh, I had man, the that CD was players, I mean, like that was the, that was like a, some mind blowing technology. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I literally remember first seeing a CD. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But even before I got that, I had the one with the tape. My father mm -hmm. then bought me a uh a walk me at an early age. But his thing with me was, what you listening to? What's that tape in there? You can't yeah. listen to this. Can't listen to that. And I used to think he was so hard, but as I get older, I'm getting to realize, like you say, you got to be on your, your post. You got to be careful of what your kids intake and put into their body and to their, because as we go to sleep at night and they listening to they say sexy red because we was talking about her. What mm -hmm. you think they're doing to the the inside of her brain as he listened to it and go to bed yeah. at night? Yeah. It's just the the way that I the way that I think of it, like for myself and the way that I explain it to uh, my kids, because I um I have three kids. My son, he's he's grown, but he's he's still young. He's you know, twenty two, a young twenty two. He's and dope daughter, music like, producer too, right? Y yes. Mm -hmm. We'll talk. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. He's he's really, really good. And I'm not that type of mom. I'm like, yeah, you know, he's he's still working on it. He got a little way to go, but he, the boy got promised. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> I wouldn't play him out. But no, he no, he is. He's like that, you know, uh -huh. um, you know, and he comes from that background from his dad. But but what? Um, but and then I have excuse me, I have. um uh, two daughters as well. They are ten and fifteen. Okay. And um, and what I explain to them, and what we can just think about as adults is that you know we can hear a song and be like, ah, oh, I can't stand that song. Remember back in the day when we used to listen to the radio? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we and and it was certain songs that uh you know wasn't necessarily our favorite song, or maybe we just didn't like the song. Yeah. But because we. We used to hear it so much, then you will look up and find yourself singing the song and knowing the words. That is called sublim subliminal messaging, and yes. but so 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 that's what they're doing now. So even of course, I you won't catch me listening to no daggone sexy red not unless i'm just trying to see what they're pushing if i listen to trash and garbage like that it is just to see what the enemy the tactics and the uh devices and the and the people that the uh, that the enemy is using but the one song you ski is everywhere yeah. Yeah. i mean they like i said even tiktoks and instagrams where teachers are doing it in classrooms yeah. And hold on, singing and, along with their children, their yeah. students. NFL practice squad during off season, one of the guys on the dress was like, "Put some music on, put on sexy red." I'm like, "Why is grown man out here listening to sexy red?" Why he? Come on, 
Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, but go ahead, like you say, do you, yeah, I mean, but way. yeah, so I mean, so that's and so it 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 is just it is just it's about capturing um people's hearts and minds. And uh, and so what we um it it you know is it's kind of a pivot, but still on what we're talking about, uh what what folks don't realize, and I'm uh specifically talking to believers, if you you know profess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you uh we have to understand I, I think the body of Christ do not put enough emphasis on spiritual death. Yes, yes. um the um the the enemy um whether it's spiritual death or uh death in terms of you know six feet in the ground death um it it, it spiritual death is just as a big of a, a a reward in gain and i i dare to even pose the question maybe i think personally i have not studied this out but just looking and and looking at the fruit thereof, I would I would say even a bigger reward and a bigger gain because as you know with you people walking around, what's the 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 big huge uh, blockbuster uh, series, the, the Walking Dead? Yes. You know, um, we have a lot of a uh, spiritually dead people, but they're but they're still walking the earth, which means they're still able to influence people. They're still able to captivate and capture hearts. And then, so, so for me, I, I think people who are literally spiritually dead that are so far removed from, from God and from righteousness, um, it, it's, it, it's even a, a, a a, a more of a danger to our children, but we do. But again, in closing on that, um, that's that's one of the tools of this music is to 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 make people's heart dark to darken yeah. um, their, their light and to harden their heart and to make them just go against God. Yeah, and even with uh, not just kids, the dust too. I hear yeah. dust say they struggle with depression. I struggle with this. I struggle with that. And you almost want to ask, like, okay, what is your playlist like? What yeah, are you listening yeah. to? What are you putting into your soul? And I hear yeah. a lot of young ladies say that. And I'm like, well, maybe love songs ain't what you need to listen to right now. <laughs> yeah. just, I know it sounds hoarse, but uh, I mean, maybe yeah, love songs. Like like I okay okay so I will say this and again just to you know respect your platform um a Caucasian very renowned known rapper from Detroit Michigan <laughs> <laughs> we all know what you're um, talking about yeah so um he uh his 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 mandate from the enemy was uh was death was suicide yeah, so sure. a lot of his music was was uh, um, the um, the spirit of suicide was literally attached to his music, and you, I mean, oh my gosh, it's so many testimonies where people were listening to his songs in. Uh, uh, the spirit of suicide came upon their life and they give testimonies. And so his mandate in his music was to usher in that spirit of suicide. And if yeah. you actually listen to a lot of his music, yeah. it, 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 in some way and fashion, some, it, it, some of his songs was the entire song, but uh, he would push that, that suicide agenda that, and, and it was, it's just crazy. So, I mean, it, I mean, look, it's just, it's all about life and death. Uh, you yeah. and I was talking one time uh, in terms of the power of music. It yeah. is so a, a power. And we know that the enemy is the the prince over the air, over the yes. airway. Um, but also if you read in the word of God in a lot of uh, the battles that is uh, that is depicted and described in the old testimony, when the, uh, the troops, uh, yep. the, uh, the yeah the uh, the Israelites would go out and uh, battle. What would happen? A lot of times that they would send out their the music musicians. 
Yep. And it would do what? It would confound a uh, confound the uh the enemy. And and the enemy would what end up turning on themselves and attacking themselves and going after themselves and 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 or running and would flay that it would just be confused and turn among and start going to war and fighting uh among them amongst uh, among themselves. So um and and that is that that talks, I mean, that is in the yeah. word of God. Even um, uh not the enjoy, even with Jesus yeah. got ready to cast out the demon, David played his heart. That is correct. That's yeah. good. So yeah. uh, you know, this even speak like you say, speak in the Bible, the power of music. The yeah. Power well, of that's why the enemy had to, that's why it's it's so infiltrated because of the power. It is one of the most um powerful tools like i said to capture the hearts of minds and of people not just our our children and young adults but you you know i mean yeah and even I mean, if you got, look at they got old people listening i mean yeah. older folks yeah. and on even, the other side of things grandmoms yeah exactly but even if you Listen look at this. a uh a marketing company when they get ready to sell something most commercial have jingles you got companies that a billion dollar company, their job is to come over the two minute jingle for that two minute commercial that's gonna grab your attention and draw you into it. I mean, I, I mean, it's so it's so deep. I mean, even like when you're in the malls, like they've done research and um, yes, on, on like what type of music to play to. Uh, to to reach the people subconscious to to want them to um to to shop and to to you know to calm them and, and make them feel good. I mean, music is a very powerful, powerful yep. tool and weapon. So yeah, yeah. and it and it and it and it has wreaked so much devastation and so much destruction. So much so, Keith, and like some, unfortunately, some of our young people, old people, middle-aged people, you, we have to understand some of them have chosen a side. So, I mean, it, I mean, it's people are never too gone, uh, never gotten to the point where God cannot go back and reach them. But I'm just, it has wreaked some, I think, some irreversible damage yeah. uh, with this, especially within the black community. It really has. Yeah. I seen it with myself with my own two eyes. Yeah. I have uh, a cousin that's a rapper and he's so far out there. I'm like, bro, you 37. You can't keep gangster rapping and being in the club with your shirt off. But like, <laughs> <laughs> like you say, yeah. it, it, it so folks it just grab and just swallowing them up. So yeah, literally, but, it just it just consumes them. Yeah, but we talk about the bad side, but music is a good thing. You yeah. when you listen to the right one, and uh, one thing I care parents, especially those that have kids, when you get in the car, don't always put it on the hip hop station. Put in a praise and worship CD. Enjoy mm. their ride with your kids and let them see you praising and worshiping God. You'd be yep. amazed what it'd do. Set the atmosphere, saturate the atmosphere with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, especially it's like before you go on to pull over. <laughs> while exactly. <I'm> in a <laughs> especially when you're taking them to school, when y'all going to worship. And put that put that gospel city in. Make it yeah. fun. Sing along with them. And you'd be amazed yeah. how far they would go instead of as soon as you jump in, let me put it on the hip hop station. Yeah, yeah. And I must say this, Keith. So, like, um, I want to share like this this uh quick testimony. I so my husband was um still is, he's still a, you know, he's a hip hop head, like real hip hop, not uh -huh. this garbage <laughs> that they're pushing now. But I just remember when um, God was really just doing a mighty work in us because we as a family, we have been going to church and Bible study faithfully for quite some time, but we were still straddling the, the, the fence, you know, uh -huh. we we're, you know, go, going to church on Sunday, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, but still living for, for the enemy uh, uh, every day of the week. Um, and I just remember when, you know, basically God was like, no, you, you know, e either you're going to choose me. If we just, we came to that, that, that point in the road, uh, that where we, we, we had to choose. 
And um, and I remember for my husband, when it came to music, uh, um, it was really hard for him because yeah. he really loved hip hop. And, uh, and, and I just remember first us, uh, finding Lecrae. I'll just keep my lips shut on that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Him and D going, going at it right yeah, now. <laughs> he, before. Yeah. I, I, he's going to, let's just keep him lifted in prayer. Exactly. Um, but one of the, one of the people that I, I do want to shout out, if it's Jay-Z, Beyonce, if you're looking for riches and frame, this might be the wrong field for you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I just being honest, that, that if, if I hear a lot of gospel artists and even uh gospel hip hop artists, man, they doing it for riches and fame. But I can't say you can't make a nice living, you can't live great doing this. But if that type moon is what you want, I mean, man, it, it might not be. I don't know. I'm just talking. Yeah, and I and I would say when you say like riches and fame. You know, that's another thing because you see like these artists that have, you know, that they are clearly, you know, uh, working for the enemy, pushing the enemy's yeah. agenda. They, they belong to the enemy's camp. And you see this and, and, and it's not only are they rich, they're fabulously fabulously wealthy. Fabulously wealthy. <laughs> yeah. And um, but that's even a facade because you've got you have you have these folks that they are just 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 stupid rich and, and just so wealthy. Yeah. But they're miserable. And yes. everything is a facade. Everything is a lie. And 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 what what the uh, the world has done in terms of we have allowed the world to define what wealth is and what what prosperity is. Yes. And you know, and, and as you got your health, you got your mind. You know, you. I mean, I, I look. I literally, for me, the the white picket fence the the uh not the real 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 big house but the you know nice size house and you know catfish farm like that that's 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 wealth and prosperity to me but the, the whole point i'm getting to again we have allowed the world to define what wealth and what prosperity is and it's a lie and so uh so that's another thing that they they these these certain artists they they push out these you know um these these cars and the houses and a lot of times they they don't own those things exactly. those are all props. they belong to other people <laughs> they can't afford those things so they, yeah. everything is a facade everything's a, everything is um smoking mirrors, mirrors. And so now these young men out here uh trying to aspire uh these things that are being pushed upon them that are lies and they're and they're they're going out there to get it by any means mean. so if that means pushing the most uh the most filthy foul and and crazy stuff and i do want to say this um of um uh, something that came across my feed about a week ago, just a few days ago, about a Suki Hana, because we've talked a lot about sexy mm. red, but um, I, I don't know which one is worse, her <laughs> sexy red or Suki Hana. But uh, and and it wasn't photoshopped, it wasn't edited, it wasn't fake, where she was crying out and was saying that she was sorry. That she sold her soul, and she said, and 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 look this up, and she was crying out and saying, "I've been praying, I've been praying, I'll be praying." Wow. And I'm, I'm kind of paraphrasing here, but she said, "I've been yeah. praying," and then I'm trying to get my soul back. And she was talking about how you know I just I got tired of being broke, and I, I just I just wanted to pay my bills. I wanted to, and yeah. she looked normal. She looked normal, and yeah. she. Crying and saying that she she was sorry, she wished she hadn't done it, and she's been uh, praying to God every day. How can she get her soul back? That is real. Go look it up. Yeah, she yeah. So so I'm telling folks it it and is even, real, and that's how they grab people by selling these false lies. Yeah. Even with sexy red, I watched the uh, interview about an hour before I got on with you. And she, they was talking about her being pregnant. 
and she you mm -hmm. can literally see in her face she was saying man I, I, like she was saying you don't have to be married but i i would like it no and did did, did see the genuine in her face that she don't like the lifestyle she living no she they don't pregnant. and she in front of the world and she got to pretend she cool with being the second, having a second baby daddy and living a fabulous life. And I, I deep inside, I don't believe she liked their lifestyle. They are being tortured because they, they do not want to be this way, but they have signed the dotted line yep. and now they're tormented. Now they are prisoners. They are being held captive and they don't know how to get out. But in order to get out, you're going to have to literally give the enemy every single thing that yes. he has given you. Yes. Which yeah. means you got to go back. I ain't going to say no more life, but no more mm -hmm. walking around with a rob of money. No more fancy cars every day of the week. But, you know, the, and the Bible speak about that, selling your soul. Yeah. What yeah. good do we get the main to gain the world? But you, oh, what world so. you can set me up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. exactly. So I mean, you know, I you know, I just I I I I I, I praise God because uh you know when you when you see all of this negative things, I just like I'm just like praise God because I know God is real. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, 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 you know, um, you know when when I when I see um uh, uh the music world pushing certain things i just i just know you know god god is real um and and there there is real music out there that people can go listen to yes. that is uplifting that is inspiring that is yes. i guess on trend whatever you want to call it uh but it like you like we was talking about earlier you do have to uh protect uh, protect your gates stop thinking that is like uh just um weird stuff we're talking about like it's make-believe mm -hmm. and pretend and that is another thing like um you have people that's on the dark side and they they understand the spiritual war is real they 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 understand that there's that they're operating in evil things but it's it's the believers that don't take this spiritual war real real they yes. they don't they don't take it they don't take it seriously um but we do have to protect our gates and 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 just for people to understand we have said that when we say gates are we're literally talking about things that you can take in that it impacts your soul your psyche your heart and that the as your gates are your eyes your ears even your touch even your smell um these things and 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 one of the examples i like to use is that how um, your gates impact you. I'm sure we've all had uh, experiences where we've smelled something that was so foul that it like made us like like do like gag. Yeah. It um um it it made us like have gag reflex uh, uh reflexes, and um that's that's the same with uh with our eye gates or with our ear gates. You know, when we take in that negative stuff, our body it is it, it, going to have to respond to it. Yes. And um and and that's and so that's what we mean by protecting your gates. Again, your your gates, our gates are our eyes, what we visually take in, what we see, uh, what we hear. Uh, what we even put into our mouths, what we touch. So all of these things impacts our heart okay and um and and that's what we have to be on guard um is our gates and again and that's why the music uh is it every day it is uh aggressively getting more dark more sinister more vile more foul vile <laughs> And um, because it just it, it darkens the heart, man. It does. It really it darkens, darkens the heart. The heart. That's yeah. true. And it hardens. It darkens and hardens the heart. That's true. The heart of man. Man, yeah. this has been a great interview. So what uh Felicia Bell got going on next? 
Well, glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, God is, you know, God is so good. You know, I, um, I head up a, um, a ministry, um, within my church, which is freedom house, uh, called a house of refuge. And what that is, Keith, and it is a strategic partnership that love life and love and, and who and what love life is. It is a, tr first of all, a tremendous blessing. Uh, this organization has a mandate and they are truly about our father's business, but love life is a pro-life organization that is now national. Um, oh my gosh, I don't have my numbers here in front of me, uh, but it's in many states, uh, not all states, but that is going, that is changing very quickly by the minute, uh, but it is a pro-life organization that uh, strategically partnerships with different churches to become a house of refuge, which means if you are a, a young mom or if you are a young couple or a family that finds themselves in a uh, a crisis, uh, a pregnancy crisis. And when I say pregnancy, I'm not talking about like you're having issues. You, you, you know, you make mistakes and things happen and you, and you're pregnant. Um, you know, you, you come to us. Uh, we won't, con we don't condone the sin, but we most absolutely will celebrate the life on the inside of you. Yes. So a lot of the moms come to us that they find themselves in an unplanned I should more or less say that an unplanned pregnancy, but guess what? They are truly facing some real hard circumstances. Some of the moms are just in a very hard, hard way uh, uh, in terms of financial, uh, their finances. Uh, they're, they really are struggling to make ends meet. Some of them are homeless. Some of them are facing homelessness. Some of them are in a domestic uh, abuse uh, situation. So these are real issues that uh, some of these women are up against and they are pregnant. And so uh, instead of running into the arms of the slaughter, AKA to the abortion clinics, you come to the house of refuge and we will help you. Uh, we, we don't enable you, but we will walk alongside of you. And, and so not only do you, you don't have to belong to uh, our, uh, our church. Um, you don't have to, to belong to anyone's church. Uh, I mean, you don't even have to be a believer you know, we will come to us because that is what the big C church, that is what we are supposed to be doing. Yes, yes. We, when people find themselves um, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a bad predicament or in a, in a crisis, they are supposed to be running to the church, church. not to the world. And in an essence, that is what house of refuge is. Yes. And we just had our, our third baby shower this past Sunday, um, <laughs> which was a blessing. And we're, uh, are hosting another baby shower, uh, next month, uh, in November. Yes. Yes. That's what I love to see churches standing behind unplanned pregnancy. Yes. Not, the, our job is not to push you to the clinic. Our job is not to tell you it's your choice, do what you want to do. Our job is to wrap our arms around you, tell Inspire you, you to love you. life. Yep. Yep. Ah, that's great. That's great. Man, I love that. I can't think of a better way to end the show than to tell people about your organization and what you're working with. Yes. And, um, and so you can find me, I mean, <laughs> on, Go ahead. um, it's Okay, so you can find me on Instagram, um, uh, Felicia Bell uh, fifty six, and uh, on Facebook, I'm old school. I'm only on one or two, <laughs> <laughs> or on Facebook, which is as uh, Felicia Seabree Bell, um, S E B R E E, and then Bell B E L L uh, on Facebook. So, um, I, I guess I get onto you, Keith, and about, uh, expanding your, your platform. So I got to do the same. So I'm doing better. I'm doing better though. Yeah. We're doing, doing better. better. Yeah. We, we are both a work in progress. So yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> man, but it's great, man. I mean, just the things you do in our community to better us. And, man, that's that's great, man. I love yeah. that. That right there make my heart bubble. I'm bubbling inside, you know. We have a group of believers out there telling young ladies, you don't have to do this. No. And you just let them know that, listen, like, um, you know, you are far above any circumstance that is not only up and up. And you have to let, you know, moms know, like, when you become a mom, like certain, uh, I, call, I literally call them certain superpowers. And they <laughs> and, and it resonates with every, uh, you know, with every mom I talk to because it's real. I'm like, when we become moms and especially when we, we give birth, certain superpowers are activated that <laughs> that that has always been there but are just not again fully activated until we become moms and a lot of times you know like if you were not serious you become serious if you are not focused you become focused, focused. And you, become, you you become determined and um and and that's what life does it just it it puts things in perspective in a way that uh wouldn't necessarily you 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 would do so you just let you let um you know moms know that uh yeah i understand that this wasn't planned and i understand that your circumstances may not be the most favorable but when you choose life that's literally what it is you know life will flow in every barren place in every desolate place in your life yes but you have yes. to choose life yes so you know this is not your last time coming back on my podcast. You definitely <laughs> coming back. And you know, I enjoyed this so much. It's different from what I've been doing before. And it's good every once in a while to switch it up and do something different. Yeah. And I, I was definitely wondering, I'm enjoyed like, this. I'm like, look, I can't like these artists now. I'm like, I don't know. Look, I I, I want to be on it. It's a it's it's truly an honor, but I'm like, it's going to be interesting. I wonder how he's going to do this. But <laughs> Baby, he had a great conversation. Great conversation. Oh, man, it was dope. I great love conversation. it. Great You definitely coming back again. You know, our next talking panel, you ain't going to sit back and just watch. Next time, you going to nope. in that with us. <laughs> that is I understood. I understood. <laughs> man, this is my sister, man. Words can't express the, 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 the connection I have with her. Even though we stay stay apart, man, she always yeah. checking on me. We always on the phone. Sometimes I feel bad. He lets like, me fuss at him. I fuss at him too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she gonna definitely fuss at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I be like, I can't do this. She married with wife with her husband kids, but even with her husband, man, he's one of the coolest guys I know, man. So, I mean, awesome. man, next thing i have with a family man thank y'all for just taking me in just being cool with me being there when i need somebody to talk to oh that's what's up yeah yeah yes, yes, yes. And, I, and i thank you for like i just thank you for doing what you're doing and and out here and just putting out some really good good content man just something that is just is fun and is dope and is it's clean, it's good, it's entertaining. Yes. So I just declare God's goodness over your life, over this podcast, and um, and that your territory is expanded immensely in the name of Jesus. So you don't find that, you know, so whenever you find um, a, 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 a black man and just a man of God, period, then you definitely want to get behind it and support and show love yeah absolutely and i uh i took the saying that you said uh they told us by me and my boys kingdom man <laughs> you talking about yeah. kingdom music i'm like i like <laughs> that i'm keeping it i'm keeping it i'm keeping it <laughs> well you're uh, welcome brother <laughs> hey thank you again hey thank if you, you for watching me. if you're watching this on youtube please hit the like button Coming, tell me what you think. Hey, I talk to you later, please. Okay, God bless.